Yeah. How many of us are teachers here? Teachers. I, I love this. What do you think it is the hardest task of a teacher in delivering learning? Keeping them engaged consistently. Very good. My name is Gilbert Ngaira for today. And I'm the co-founder and CEO of Ntemata. And actually the biggest problem that teachers face is that 83% of their time is spent on pre-assessment and admi administra administrative related activities. Meaning they're only left with around 17% to do the actual teaching and engaging with the student. Meaning, -da -da, the outcome. Our solution on Temata, Temata is actually a Kenyan word from the Samburu community, but also from the Maasai and from the Borana. And it just means assess, test, or examine. And so our focus as a, as a company, we have decided to focus on the hardest task that the teachers go through so that we can give them more time to engage one-on-one -on -one with the learners. And that task is assessment. So our solution has automated. Uh, Intermata is an e-assessment e solution with features that allow assessment of skills, progress, performance, and 360 degree engagement. So we've automated from beginning to end. Uh, I'll just run a video just for you to see how it works. So basically a teacher logs into the system. They will select already preset questions in the system so they don't have to set questions. They will publish it for the student to be able to see, to sit and to go through it. Afterwards, the teacher will come back to the same system to view how the students have performed and now give them proper feedback according to their performance. Once that happens, a very comprehensive report where fully with teacher's feedback will be sent back to the student, to the school, and to the parents as well to be able to gauge the learning journey of, of the learners. Our competitive advantage, we have an end-to-end -end assessment flow that accommodates multiple curriculars. So right now, we are focused more on the 844 because our high schools still go through that but also the CBC, fully aligned. Uh, we have a robust assessment task creation and well-aligned question bank with at least 10K plus questions per school uh, that we already work with. Also, creation of effective teacher resources, uh, simplifying the assessment journey, and finally, this is actually, the final one I'm going to mention is very critical is because it's out of our engagement with this fellowship that we came up with it, is to prepare plugins that carries the whole assessment journey that allows other edtech uh, companies to be able to experience our solution. Our business model is very basic. We focus both on the learning institutions and the edtech companies. And when we started, of course it was purely learning institutions with an annual subscription per learner of $30. Impact and traction, because of our partnership, what I highlighted here as the third, e uh, the fourth easy plugin, it has actually uh, affected our traction and impact. So one of the partnerships, of course, is Funky Science, but we also have others from the cohort. Uh, and with Silabu, we are soon, actually in January, we should be able to get our traction up to 68,000 users, both in Tanzania and in Kenya, enjoying the platform. Uh, our user experience uh, journey has been improved because of the fellowship. Of course, the support has actually helped us improve it, improve it big time. System scalability, initially you weren't able to handle so much, but we've improved the system to be able to handle so much right now. And by so much, I mean a lot, from questions to many teachers to many students. Uh, it's a good thing for us. And finally, of course, the teachers and the learners uh, impact. So the two, the first one and the last one are actually related because the first one is out of the partnership with other edtech companies and the, and the last one is our engagement with the teachers currently enjoying the solution. What is our ask? Our ask is we are looking to actually raise a million USD and most of this is actually continuous product development and of course having a very strong team that is going to help us get to the next level and uh, we continue chasing partnerships 
and that is part of what is going to help as well. Our team, myself, Gilbert Ngaira there, then we have Frida Ngare, and we have Bright Gameli, those are the top leaders, but we have many other team. And by the way, it is out of this fellowship. When we started, before the fellowship, the, the whole program was run by five, six people. And right now you can see we have a whole team. And in the tech especially, we're able to get DevOps engineers, junior software engineers, and, and all these has al also be able to help us. In the traction, we are able to get salespeople that are now actively, have actually signed. So as, as last as today, they have actually signed very good uh, numbers for us, and we are grateful. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>